Welcome guys, this is Moo. Moo is a very handsome Dutch belt rabbit. Um, and he's gonna help us show some different ways to handle or safely handle rabbits. So rabbits can be very flighty. Um, they are little prey species. And so sometimes interactions can be a little bit nervous, especially when you have a new rabbit or one that might be a little bit more nervous in general. So the best way to handle a rabbit, there's a few different holds that you can use. Um, one of them is called the C hold. Um, and so the way that this one works is I'm just gonna put my hand right under Moose's chest. And then my other hand is gonna be used just to kind of support his rear end. Um, so let me show you what that looks like. So you just wanna kind of put your hand under, under the chest. I use my pointer finger to go in between the, the legs and then my middle finger and my thumb to be on either side of a front leg there. So this is kind of what it looks like. And then I'm gonna take my back hand here and just put it right along his back end. So as I'm lifting, I have support of him. Now, the one thing I wanna make sure that you see is that I'm not holding on to his feet at all. So my hand right now, I just have open just to kind of let you guys see that. Um, so since this hand here is literally just a seat, so it's just something to help support so you can kind of gently push the, the rear end up or let it sit down a little bit more. With the front legs, I'm not holding on to the legs. Again, this is a very loose hold along the chest area but just to help give them some security. And then the other important factor is that you wanna have their backs up along your belly or your chest area. The reason I say that is because this helps stabilize their back. Again, they, if they become nervous or if they decide to kick, this is the safest way for them to do so. So if they kick, they're not gonna injure their back doing so. And their legs are free to kick if they want and it won't cause them any issues. So this is one of the, the better ways to move with a rabbit and also to handle a rabbit, for instance, to kind of look at incision sites or, or kind of looking at things along the belly area or the feet. So another way that you can hold a rabbit is called a football hold or also known as an arm, um, arm elbow hold. So with this type of hold, it's more to kind of cover the rabbit's face and almost cradle them as you're taking them. So what I'm gonna do is my one arm is still gonna go kind of under the rabbit's chest to start with. And then we're just gonna move this bunny right into my armpit, or not armpit, but the, the crook of your elbow there. This way their face is covered, the body is being supported by your lower arm here, and then your other arm either goes on the side or near the rear end of the rabbit. This way it kind of decreases visual stimuli and helps the rabbit feel secure. You do want to make sure that the bunny is resting against your body as well because again that gives you more control over the rabbit and help make them feel secure as well. So this is just another way to help move with a rabbit um, in a busy hospital or, or to kind of hold them. One of the last ways to help restrain or to, to hold a rabbit is um, kind of something that a lot of people will refer to as trancing or putting them into a trance. Rabbits, when they're placed on their backs, usually will close their eyes, kind of relax, and sometimes this is a way to um, trim nails, examine incision sites, be able to look at the ventral aspect of them with them nice and calm. This doesn't necessarily work for every rabbit, but in quite a few rabbits, it works very, very well. So what we'll do is you're gonna gently kind of put your hand underneath the rabbit's chest, and just like you would in most other instances, put your hand along the back end of the rabbit right here as you're lifting. And you're basically going to put the rabbit upside down on your arm. So what that looks like is this. So we just want to kind of cradle that rabbit inside the arms and have them in an upside down position. Again, this rabbit is, at least on my end, on this side is starting to close its eye a little bit. And it's a way that you can have access to things like feet and toes and the belly and be able to look at things very quickly and easily. 
Some people will syringe feed in this position. You do need to be very careful about that because they are upside down and so swallowing can sometimes be a little bit difficult for them in this position. But again, just a nice way to kind of have them relaxed, tranced, and be um, able to be examined as well. Sometimes for bunnies, they get very nervous or they may try to kick or try to escape, um, either during an exam, trying to syringe feed. There are certain instances where you need a little bit more control, but maybe you don't have another person to help you do that. So one of the ways that you can um, get this done or have better control of your rabbit is something called a burrito. So when you burrito your bunny, you're not adding cheese or lettuce or beans. Um, you want to have a nice towel, any size towel or blanket, and um, kind of putting them right in the center of it at an angle. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to go ahead and fold this end of the towel right over the back end of Moo here. And then you're going to take the edges and you're going to fold them along his side. So this is kind of creating almost like swaddling a baby um, is what you're trying to do here. And then you can kind of tighten that up and go ahead and give another fold on this side. This just gives you more control. Now with this type of hold, you do want to kind of use your body or chest to be at the rear end so that you have this kind of attached. And then now you have access to the face. So for instance, for syringe feeding, if you needed more control over the body to be able to do a syringe feed, you have easy access over this mouth and the head. Sometimes um, the doctor will need to do examinations of the eyes, the nose, the ears, and the mouth. And in some rabbits, this just makes them feel a little bit more comfortable and secure in this way, and maybe a little bit safer. The things that you do have to be careful of is if a rabbit is struggling in this and you're worried, let them, let them go. Go ahead and release the, the burrito. So kind of opening this area up so that they can go ahead and get out of that um, because they still can't injure themselves in this type of thing, in this type of setup. But it is something that just gives you a lot more control over your bunny. So burritos, bunny burritos are always delicious.